So for example, how would we identify this? Well, we would want to look at some blood work. There's various forms. You can do what are called reflex assays. You can start with, uh, say, a food panel. And then if that comes back positive, then you run a certain antibody against gluten. If that's positive, then you're looking for the, the antibodies that the body's attacking itself, sort of stepwise fashion. But you can identify quite a bit there. Technically, we need a s small intestine biopsy. The biopsy shows a certain kind of histology that says, oh, this is celiac. And lo and behold, guess how they figure it out? A response to a gluten-free diet. In other words, if you eliminate it, how does that person do? A true celiac, a person with celiac disease must be gluten-free for life with no reintroduction possible. That's actually a minority of people who have issues with gluten and wheat, et cetera. Most people have intolerances or allergies, but not full-blown celiac disease. So when do we suspect a food allergy? And by the way, let me just mention this briefly. The good news is, is that people who don't have this severe reaction, there is reintroduction that's possible. That's where I'm going with that.